Hi, I'm Serena from thriftdiving.com. You know, the fall is the perfect time to replace your door, paint it, or stencil it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your old, plain, or boring door and make it look beautiful for your family. And we're gonna be replacing this light too. Stick with me, because I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you're installing the new door first, like I did, make sure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to install it. Or you can do like what I did, and I asked a friend to help. He's a professional contractor. So for this project, you wanna make sure that you're using exterior paint. We're using Paint and Primer in One by Bayer. And we're also gonna need paint brushes, painter's tape, and any gloves or cleaning supplies like paper towels, and you can find all of these things at the Home Depot. Before you can get started on painting your door, you have to make sure that it's clean. I recommend using Simple Green, which is gonna get this surface prepped and ready for paint. After cleaning your door, replace or add new caulk and insulation if necessary, and paint or repaint your door trim with exterior paint. So once we get all the tape on the windows, we'll be able to start painting. My door is brand new, so I don't have to prime it. It's already primed and ready. It's gonna be a really pretty turquoise, very light greenish turquoise and a quiet teal. I'm gonna use nice, long, even strokes so that I get a nice finish. If you're painting your old door, make sure that you talk to a Home Depot professional in the paint department and they can recommend a really good primer to get you started. Be sure to add two coats of paint for better coverage. Replacing an old light will make your door look great. We replaced the light with a new Hampton Bay model from the Home Depot. We have light, so now we're ready to stencil. So for my stencil, I used a personal cutting machine with vinyl. Now you can go to homedepot.com and get other stencils for your door, but I use one that's custom made. So I'm gonna use some of the painter's tape that we used previously on the door, and I'm going to create a line, and that is going to be my line to make sure that everything is even. So now that we have our stencil in place, it looks straight, crossing my fingers. We're ready to do some paint. We're gonna use some pure white outdoor paint. This is the exterior paint by Bear with the paint and primer in one. And I'm gonna use a foam brush. I wanna make sure that it goes really, really light because I don't want that paint to seep underneath of that stencil. If you're using a ready-made stencil, be sure to hold your stencil in place with tape, apply two coats of exterior paint, and when it dries, remove the stencil. So we are done the door makeover. We've stenciled it, we've painted it. So with just about a day, day and a half, you can totally transform your outdoor area into something that you can be proud of. Thanks for watching and for more projects, you can find me at thriftdiving.com.